A lot of programmers have a problem that they want to deploy their project to production, but they don't really have knowledge of DevOps and servers in order to configure it properly and deploy. This is where managed hosting and Cloudways is coming to rescue. So by the end of this video, I will show you how to use Cloudways in order to easily deploy your Angular application to production. This video is brought to you by Cloudways. So what problem do we have? We want to deploy something to production, but we need to understand how to set up a Linux server, how to install things like Nginx for example, configure it properly, install all dependencies, upload your website and manage it. And it might have dependencies like database for example, which you also need to support yourself. So you need quite a lot of knowledge about servers, in order to do it properly. Another way to work with servers is to use something which is called manage hosting. And this is when you don't configure yourself the server from scratch, but you're using some company which manages a server for you. And Cloudways is doing exactly that. You don't really need to spend time on configuring your own server. You can just select one of the most popular server solutions, like for example, DigitalOcean or AWS. And then on top of it, you are getting a nice UI to manage your server. So it is an ideal platform for developers, freelancers and businesses who want to host their own project. And the good part is that you can try it even without providing your card credentials, because you are getting completely free 3 days trial. So here inside my account on Cloudways, you can see that we have my applications and my servers. And we start by creating our first server. So let's click launch now. And here we can select a lot of stuff. First of all, we can select what do we want to deploy. And Cloudway supports deploying in a single click of certain things, like for example, WordPress, WooCommerce, Laravel, Magento. And we can also do some custom stuff with, for example, PHP. And this is exactly what we will use for our Angular deployment. But if you have something like WordPress, for example, you can deploy it to production in one click without really need to think about it. And most importantly, you don't really need to manage it yourself. It will be updated automatically and you can just focus on your website. So here let's select now PHP because we have our custom application and here we have our application name. So for our name, I want to write Angular Signals because this is a Signals project. Now we have a server name. I would like to write here Digital Ocean because this is what we will use underneath and our project will be client. And you for sure have a question, what is the difference between application name and project name? Basically inside your application, you can have different projects, like for example, client side, backend side. After this, we are selecting our server. And as I already mentioned, you are not using some servers from Cloudways, you are using just normal providers that you might want to use, like for example, DigitalOcean, AWS or Google Cloud. I will select here DigitalOcean and now we are selecting server type. Basic is just fine and we can use much smaller server like with one gigabyte if we don't have a huge project. Now our location here, I will select Frankfurt and as you can see, we are getting a message that it is recommended to have 4 gigabytes for custom built PHP production website. This is completely fine. We don't have this. We will have just static assets of Angular because any client application is basically just an asset like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here I am going with 1 gigabyte and I am clicking launch now. It will prepare for us our server, which can take a bit of time. As you can see, our server was successfully created and we can click now on our applications. Here is our Angular Signals application, which we created and it is based on custom PHP. So let's click on it. Here we have different tabs where we can control our server. Like for example, in access details, we can get access to our database, open our project by clicking here. This is predefined Cloudways page or generate your SSH and FTP details. You also have access to monitoring here, logs, analytics, cron jobs, SSL certificates, and so on. But as we want to deploy here our Angular application, we need first to build it in order to get assets that we want to deploy. 
So here I am inside my Angular application that I want to deploy to production. And first of all we need to build it, so I will call here npm run build. As you can see inside dist folder in app we have all our build files like index.html, main.js and CSS. This is exactly all files that we need to copy to our server. And in order to do that we can use some FTP tool like FileZilla. So here I am inside this folder, but we need to go inside dist app and these are all files that we want to copy. Now where to copy them? We must go here inside our access details in Cloudways, scroll to the bottom and here we have our FTP details. We can click here on add this FTP user. Let's create a user Angular and add some password. Our user is successfully created. So inside FileZilla I can use this user Angular, put password and inside host we need to provide this public IP address that you can see here. And our port will be 22. I'm clicking quick connect and we are connected to our server. What we are interested in here is public HTML where inside we have our index.php. We don't really need that because instead we will copy all our files. So let's remove it and copy all files from the left to the right. Now all our assets are on production and we can directly open this project. So let's scroll here to the top and this is our application URL. And here we directly see our Angular application which is deployed on production and it is just working. Which is really nice because we did it in seconds. But maybe you are more advanced and you really need SSH access. You have it out of the box, we already created a user for it. So I can jump in the console and write SSH, my user and AP address, hit enter, write yes and provide the password that we used for our FTP connection. As you can see we are getting an error, shell access is disabled, which actually means by default you can't connect to SSH. But what if we want to? Let's click here on application settings, scroll a little bit and here we have our SSH access. It is disabled so let's enable it. I am clicking here confirm and it will enable for us an SSH. Now let's try again, I am hitting enter, providing password and as you can see we are inside our server. I can write here ls and inside public html we can see our assets that we uploaded. Another really nice feature that I like is staging deployment. You don't really want to always deploy directly to production, you sometimes need to test your code on the staging first. And you can directly create here staging environment on the staging management tab. So we are clicking here launch staging application and we need to select a server where it will live. We can use digital ocean that we already have, I am clicking continue and it will create for us a staging application. So our application was created, let's click here on applications and now we have two of them. We have production environment and staging environment. So let's click here and basically this is a separate application with a small twist. First of all here we can scroll, we don't have access here to FTP because this is completely different application. We need to create a separate user. So I will do exactly the same really quick. So the user is there, but now it is Angular staging username. I am clicking quick connect and we have our public HTML. As you can see it already has all assets like on production because it was copied from it, but basically we can copy here any new files. The main point is that you are opening the link and this is another link to the staging. Here we see sign in with username and password because it requires for us to authenticate. If we scroll a little bit in access details, here is a username for password protection and the password. But you can also disable it if you want to. Now after entering credentials we are getting our staging application. The main point is you can test your application on staging. Then go back to the project, click staging management and here you have copied data from staging to live. This is what you typically want to do. You test first on stage, then you click push and all your changes are coming to production. Here we are selecting web application files, overwrite, proceed and we are golden. With that our application was successfully deployed to production and we can check it for changes. So it is much simpler, but if you still have any questions, in Cloudways they have 24-7 support. 
And if you want to try it yourself, first of all they have 3 days trial without the need to attach your credit card, but additionally with promo code MONSTER15 you are getting $15 housing credits during your sign up, which can make first month of your plan completely free. So don't forget to check a link in the description box below.